good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a beautiful, I mean beautiful little custom piece for you guys that I have to show off in a video. I think it's an amazing piece. I, I am so hyped and excited for it because I think you guys could actually probably get one for yourselves. So we'll get into that as well. But as you guys can see, we have this custom table right here. Now, I do have my cell phone commentary right here. Going to be needing that. You know, I got my pink suit on there. If you guys missed that episode of surgery, definitely go check that out. But today, man, we are diving into this over here. Not this announced table. We're going to get into some comparisons. But this table is so big and nice. Look at how gorgeous this table is right here. You guys can see it does have the MDT logo on the front. We're going to get into all the details, of course. But this thing is 3D printed. You can tell. Nice, it's nice, solid, and sturdy. It's real thick and plastic. It's it's real nice, man. Like here is a standard announce table right here. You get this is like I, I don't. Okay, first of all, I don't think I'm gonna use this as an announce table. I might experiment with it. You know, I might take a look at it, see what's up with it. But I don't think I'm gonna use it as an announce table. I think it's too big. It can't like break. You know, it's not breakaway or anything. But it is a very nice piece. But comparing it to the other announce table, this thing is massive, bro. Like, look, I can. Put Put this announce table completely on top. You guys can see it's like an inch wider on either side. It's even got an inch on the front there. You know, no spots for monitors. God, that sounds terrible. No space for monitors, but you could easily, you know, just take a monitor and you could easily take a monitor and plug it right there, and that that easily works right there. So you know, you could you could easily put that like that and have monitors on it. You could you know you could do you could do a lot. So you could put some props on there, some papers, pens, coffee mug, laptop, you name it. We could probably put that up there. The, the, the guy that made this could probably even print off some accessories for the top of it. I'll have to hit him up, but I didn't even catch his name. I just remember seeing. I, if you guys are not in these Facebook groups, there's plenty of Facebook groups out there of wrestling customs and action figures and AEW figures and WWE figures and you can find some really crazy and incredible customizers on there and that's where I found this so I got on there guy was selling I think some WCW and ECW announced tables or style tables like this where you can literally you know get the table I think it had a gray top or a black top and he put the WCW logo on there of course I sent him a logo I said bro can you do a custom table he said sure enough send me the logos so I sent him the logos and you guys can see here this is actually magnetized so you guys can see there there's two magnets holding it together there you got the black and the pink top i went with the pink top i might paint it at a later date and i might even get more tables made i, I might experiment with that and see what we got but this right here is not painted by that guy i actually did this myself you guys can actually see a little bleed right there i gotta touch that up i was painting the rim of it over here and i messed it up but they actually came like this right here so they actually came solid pink like this 3d printed i guess this is like the risen or the plastic or whatever that creates the 3d print so this this is what it looked like and so I had to take that and I took my paints and I just hand painted it I mean that's pretty much the the basis right there do have to touch it up a bit it's not perfect but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did before so there it is and I, I, I haven't painted this one this is like an extra copy I might paint this and like glue this somewhere or something because I actually have a painted copy of the vindication one so here's the vindication one and so I you know I just I hand painted this one and this is what it looked like beforehand again it needs some touch up you can see some pink bleeding through there but pretty damn cool. I, I like it a lot. It was very fun to paint. You know, it, it took a lot of time. I'm not going to lie to you, but it comes across nice on camera, you know. And uh, another thing, again, if I if I put the Vindication one on here, like so, you guys will notice that the top's not painted, obviously. But the Vindication logo, probably not going to look the best with the pink top, right? So uh, I'm probably going to have to get another table made with either a black top, a blue top, possibly a yellow top, or just put, like, some cloth over the top or do something like that to cover up that pink right there. So that doesn't really match, but... But I was pretty proud of the paint job. I, th I think the zebra print turned out cool. I think the logo turned out cool. So now I have uh, a standard option, which is probably the best option, just plopping the MDT on there. I have the vindication option if I want to use a vindication table. And then lastly, I actually had this one made. And this one's very early stages. I'm going to paint this just like the My Damn Toys live logo. And so it doesn't have live on there or anything, but it says My Damn Toys. And I plan on painting the inside of these letters pink. That way you'll have pink with silver outline and then I'm going to paint the background black and that way when you plug this in here it will say you know my damn toys and it'll have the pink and silver and it'll look all damn dandy and nice so there's that so that looks pretty cool as well so I got three different options and I do have the extra vindication logo right there but I think this is so fantastic because it kind of reminds me of like a kickoff panel table you know like you know you're starting off a show or whatever and then you have you know your guys sitting back there or whatever going over the the, the matchups and whatever you could easily have a talk show and you could film a podcast have 
have, you know, the MDT right there, do it Stone Cold, you know, Broken Skull Session style. But I did want to get, like, a couple figures on here and showcase maybe, I, I, for, I have a few things I want to test out, actually. First of all, I want to put a chair, I want to put my figure in this chair over here and uh, pull myself up to the seat and, you know, see what it looks like. And then secondly, you, you, what is a table with wrestling figures if you can't, you know, experiment and see how good the the table takes some bumps. So we're gonna back this up right here. You guys can see here's a Nash Carter laying on it, so you could easily do a you know a ladder spot or something like that. If you wanted to take Edge, for instance, hit him with like an Edgecution on the table, that could probably work as well. You know, it's it's not gonna break away. But it easily could work as like an OMG moment. You know, they bust their head on the solid steel table. I don't know. You know, it, it, we could make this look like steel. I don't know. You know, the, the possibilities are endless. But I think it makes for great play. It works for a great kickoff panel, again, like I said. And the figures scale really, really well with it. So that's what makes me happy. So I do want to stick the MDT logo right here again. I mean, dude, that is just so damn clean, bro. Look how clean that is. That looks so official. And it's like my own little TV anchor desk. Hey, look at right there. Like, okay, first of all, we do have to sit my butt in the seat. Let's go ahead and get my figure. We'll plop me down in the seat right here. And then we will pull myself around to the back. That way, you know, I can I can sit here. Oh, dude, that scale's so damn good. Look at that. Look at that. And then I can lower the camera down, and then I can zoom in shot. Look at that, dude. Oh, that is that is pretty damn awesome. I like that a lot. Look at that shot right there. So, and there's plenty of room. You could probably fit three people at this table. It's a massive table. I think it's uh, four inches tall, maybe three and a half, maybe four. There's Edge standing beside it. You could even you could you could print off another one of these in brown. Use it as a GM's desk or something like that in an office. I mean, plenty of opportunities there. I'll have to go through and get the guys' information. Maybe you guys can order one yourselves. I thought it was a pretty, pretty good price, you know, for, for the options. I did get three custom printed logos, though, and the size of the table is pretty nice. So you do have to take that into consideration. It'll probably be cheaper if you only got one logo. You know, I don't know what the whole terms and conditions are, but I will look into that for you, and I can get back to you guys on that at a later date. But I'm pretty proud of the way these came out. I think the, the paint job on the logos turned out a lot better. Again, took some trial and error. Do have to clean it up a bit, but I am feeling the hell out of this table, man. Really sweet time. Again, I think if you want to spend some extra money on it, you know, and, and really do the thing up and do some custom stuff, this is the way to go. And again, man, here is the comparison between the, you know, the Mattel or the Ringside Collectibles table compared to the massive custom table that is just a beautiful piece, man. I, I really can't get over how nice it is. It's so high quality, and it's not going to break, you know. It's not going to break. I think that it, it is it holds together well and all those things man but i had to get on here and make a video about this table because it's it's so beautiful and so nice so that is pretty much it i wanted to cover the table and you guys can let me know should i get another vindication table i feel like i should you know i gotta get one for the blue top or the black top or just throw a sheet over it but then the the part right here will like fold over and hide the logo anyway but really easy just unplug and then plug back in right there so all magnetized no you know you don't have to mount it or anything it just does it all on its own so that that makes me happy man but anyways guys that is going to wrap up today's video let's get into a random shout out before we get out of here and this shout out is going to go to reggie moses who says mace looks like he's confused and he doesn't know anything in figure form and that's pretty that's pretty accurate bro if you guys missed yesterday's My Damn Thoughts slash ranking of Elite Series 94, definitely go check that out. I really appreciate it. But a huge shout out to Reggie Moses for the comment, man. Thank you so much for watching. I'm getting out of here, man. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on the table. What do you expect out of it? And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you next time. You crossed the line. I've been